Today I'm joined by Blackthorn Prod, Zyger, and Wannabe Manisha. The art kit we'll be using is the 3D Space Kit by Kenny. To recap the rules, we each have 48 hours to make a game and they don't have to be consecutive. We can use any copyright free music, sound effects, and fonts or make our own, and we must use the art kit for our game's visuals, though we're free to be creative in how we use it. Let's begin. Hey everyone, Noah here. I really liked the art pack by Kenny. Glad to jump back into the world of 3D game creation after more than two years focusing almost entirely on 2D projects. This game jam starts out pretty hard. I kept coming up with ideas and tiny prototypes only to discard them a few hours later. My first attempt was a top-down horror game set in an abandoned space station. The player would control a small spaceship and light and we need to maneuver around enemies that react to the light in various ways. Felt a bit ambitious though and didn't really like the look of the assets covered in shadows, so I jumped onto my next idea, if you can even call it that. It was just me playing around with a different perspective, trying to embrace the 3D space a little more. I quickly threw that in the trash and began work on a prototype where the player could place little turrets and spaceships on a grid. It looks pretty cool. I wanted the player to moderate the difficulty, placing hazards to gain score points, but doing so obviously increases risk and difficulty. Sadly, this little creation stubbornly remained dull and uninteresting, so I toyed with another prototype, where you must stop little spaceships from colliding with each other by changing their patrol routes. This felt very similar to Tiny Planets, a small game I made more than a year ago, so once again I returned to square one. With 24 hours down the drain and nothing to show for it, I tried staying zen and watched a game dev tutorial by Sebastian Laig on full gravity. Soon I had my own little player moving around a spherical surface. I added some hazards to dodge and made up a rule where the player is forced to stay moving or risk being blown up. There's also a deadly trail which spawns from behind the player, stopping him or her from moving back and forth. I added some stylish effects in the background and post-processing, then remembers that I wasn't allowed to create my own art assets but must use those from the art kit, so I threw away my hand-drawn clouds and grouped a bunch of meteors to create new ones. I mostly used unlit materials for colours, I felt it gave things a fresh, clear and cartoony look. With a dozen hours left I had fun creating different levels, adding some sound effects and finally publishing the game on itch.io. I called my little game jam experiment Spherical Delight, relieved to have finished something on time and grateful for the experience gained and lessons learned along the way. Already, like the main menu, you can already tell it's a Blackthorn prod game, which is so cool. Really nice intro, nice sounds, nice aesthetic, very pretty. Damn, I'm very impressed by the uh, main menu here. Alright, once you stop moving, must not stop. Move with arrow keys or WASD. Survive for this amount of time. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh right, once you start moving, you cannot stop. Sweet. Okay, so survive 20 seconds. I'm guessing I don't want to collide with those. Level 105. Man, the sound design in this is really excellent. I really like the. Oops. I really like the uh, the colorful aesthetic. Like the color work is so like crazy and intense, and I love it. This is really cool. I like the animations. The music's awesome. Everything in it just looks great, honestly. Oh god, these things move now. Oh. Okay, I nearly just died. I don't know how I just won that. Let's see. What? Oh no. I'm my own enemy. Oh my god. I really like this background though. It's like almost hypnotic. The, the rings at the back. It's so chill, the music. I feel like you can play it forever. Up, down, up, down. Yes. Yes! You just need that strategy and then and then you get it. Oh no. Oh, are you kidding me? I've survived 20 seconds. Oh, it's slower. Okay, that's a relief. No, I ran into my own trail. Forgot I couldn't move backwards. I think their orientations are... No, they're not random. Okay. So they will move in the same pattern every time. 
Okay, yeah, I like that the aesthetic on this level is really nice. Because you can see the uh, airplanes moving around the edges too. And it, I like the cooler aesthetic on this level. Alright, that was a victory, nice. How many of these levels do you want? Man, this is... Get, the planet gets smaller and smaller, it gets a little bit harder. These are the aliens, I think. Or like one of the, you know, astronauts. Oh, there we go, game complete. That was really fun. I wish there were more levels. Stop that. When I first saw the art pack, I knew I wanted to make an adventure game, which is a bit unconventional for a game jam. I decided to stick to my gut and make sure every minute counted in order to pull this off, since I didn't have much experience in 3D. I started by setting up a first-person controller and decided this would be a short, immersive experience with some puzzle aspects. To create this mysterious, alien planet, I began by dividing the area up. Each area would have an objective to complete, with about 3-5 to five in total. This kept programming relatively simple, with only an interaction system, triggers for animations, and booleans to track progress. To enhance the immersion, I knew I needed either a narrative or cutscenes. Ultimately, I decided on cutscenes, which I thought could work well with highlighting the objectives, and I thought it could bring something unique to the game. Since I don't have much experience with 3D modeling, I ended up just combining random models to create new ones. World building was very fun and extremely addicting, which made me slightly worried that I might be wasting too much time on it. I then realized that world building was technically the level design for the game, so it was important to give it enough time. For some reason, I thought it would be funny to use western music for the background, and surprisingly it suited it. The rest of my time was spent cleaning up puzzles and the objectives, which definitely could have used more refining and fleshing out given more time. The enemies and security cameras were mainly added to enhance the sneaky atmosphere. Sadly, I had to make enemy AI simpler than I had hoped since I didn't have time for a checkpoint system, and restarting is quite unforgiving. The last area had me stumped for a while. After playing around with the pipes, I decided to go for a maze type of area. I worked on the ending screen while thinking about how I could end the game with a bang. I whipped up a final cutscene, which could have flowed a bit better, but I like the idea of it, so we'll see how it goes. The human base is taking over your planet. Navigate around the base and destroy their operations. This seems to be an FPS, first person game. And I'm absolutely loving the camera. So well done. Okay, E to press. Wow, that's a lot of detail. So I'm guessing we need to avoid those nasty looking red lights. Can I go and hit? Oh, a cutscene. Okay. Objective, capture the rover. This is really cool, okay. I've captured the rover. I really like the camera work. Damage six satellites. Okay, so I can sneak around and do this. Okay, E to damage. So far being pretty easy to sneak around everything. Uh oh. Oh no, I think I'm stuck. I wonder if Manisha used any post-processing, because uh, the art is very simple, very very blocky looking and stuff. Um, oh, objective, explore the area, okay. Uh, which is of course, you know, completely fine. This game, we all have to remember, was made in less than 48 hours. And already look at that, it's like this, this whole world that she's built, but there's also like very easy, very quick ways to add life to an environment. So perhaps adding a vignette effect uh, around the borders of the screen could have been a really nice touch, I think. Maybe some color adjustments, a uh, uh, bloom, maybe a little bit of chromatic aberration could have been nice. Explore the area, okay. This looks actually really cool. I like the map layout and everything. Okay, I see like a green thing there. I'm assuming we might need to go collect it without getting noticed. Use the hammer to escape the area. Whoa, okay. Okay, I almost saw me. Explore the area. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay, you saw me. Snuck up on me. Mission failed. Restart. Oh no, it restarts all the way at the beginning. Man, I'm really liking the level design. Password needed to log in. Okay, search for password. The only thing taking away from my enjoyment right now is the fact that if I get caught, I have to restart the whole game. I'm looking for the password, I'm guessing. I'm guessing these papers do not have what I'm looking for. You'll we'll find it eventually. Yes, password for gate found. This is all surprisingly intuitive. Probably testimony to the, the good level design going on. We've 
we've got to definitely go in there, I think. But um, oh, there we go. Press E to turn. What is this? Okay, so it looks like there's red, blue, and then yellow. So I'll do red, blue, and yellow. There we go. Find red explosive barrels. Pick up artifact. The gameplay is really cool. I like the like sort of tasks and objectives we have to do. The cutscenes are really cool because it just makes the game feel a lot better. These tunnel things are really cool as well. Push explosives. <laughs> the action hero jump. Mission complete. <laughs> that was really funny. So the first thing I did when I got the pack is I opened it up, had a look at the assets to take a look what inspired me. And this is the first pack that's actually 3D, but I decided to go for a more sort of 3D slash 2D game, maybe 2.5D I guess. Essentially my initial idea was to make a sort of third person game, but I realised I would probably not have time for that. So instead I decided to go for a platformer. Okay, so it's a lot later in the day and essentially what I've done is I've done the whole mechanics for the platformer. So you can run around like so and jump around. He also has a double jump and even a triple jump at some points. With that, I also created some animations as you can see when he's running around. And there's an alien here, which when you collide with you die, he's a little bit bugged right now. But you can also jump on top of their heads, which will kill them, which I haven't been able to do just yet. But essentially you can just jump. So yeah, I haven't done anything with the aliens properly just yet, but essentially they will walk around on like a platform like here and then they will if they collide with you, you die, and if you jump on their head, you kill them. I've also created these coins that, as you can see, I can jump into. I'm currently, you know, going through the floor because I haven't actually set that up yet. But essentially, I've just done the basics for the platformer. Okay, so it's now the final day, and I forgot to really do more devlogs, but essentially what I've done is I've built the map, I added some lighting and some text so you can actually, like, see what's going on, and it's a little tutorial that shows you what to do. And essentially, just created the map itself. I've also fixed all the collisions with the um, aliens as such and also made sure that they keep themselves on the platforms like here. And they are actually killable, I'm just not very great at my own game I guess. But yeah, essentially this is it. There's also other parts in here such as boxes that you can move, this gas that you've got to avoid. And that's essentially the whole game. You've got to get to the end and yeah, that's that's the whole game. So it was a very simple little main menu here, cool little soundtrack playing in the background. Let's press play and delve into this world. Dark and spooky. A and D to move. Space to jump. Kill aliens by jumping on their heads. Oh. If you collide with them, you will be sent back to the start. I like the floating text effect. Collect as many coins as you can. So it seems to me that this is a simple little 3D platformer. Smooth controls. Pretty straightforward gameplay, nice tutorial. And she's made a great use of the assets, which, yeah, definitely made me think more of an isometric strategy game. Oh, I died. But Zyger used them for a platformer, pretty zoomed in. And yeah, definitely works. It's really cool. Oh no. Ah. Okay. Nice setup here. I like the tiles. Oh, okay. I don't think I need to kill the enemies, as far as I know. Or I just need to collect coins. What's down here? Beware of the nasty green gas. I'm not gonna lie, this game is not massively original. Um, which can be a good or a bad thing. I mean, if Zyger hasn't made any platformers before, or 3D platformers before, then this 48 hour game jam might be an excellent opportunity to, to learn the basics, learn the new tools, and and just yeah, create this, this simple game, which is great. Uh, but game jams for me uh, at this point, since I've done many, many game jams, I love experimenting, trying new things. But yeah, everybody enters game jams with different purposes, I think, different goals in mind. Kind of cool, like, aesthetic with the giant pillars and then you see the shadows stretching in the background. You can jump up walls. Okay, so that was intended. Yeah, you can't really see your character though. You can push these, move these blocks by pushing them, okay. Oh, there's a depth of field effect. Neat. Oh, can I push this over? Haha, <laughs> I can just block it. Nice. Oh, are we there? Yay! Good job, you made it back alive. Thanks for playing. 
jump into Portal. That was really nice. I made a spaceship that follows your mouse around and has really physics-y movement. I took these chimney models and put unlit materials on them, then placed them behind your spaceship and scaled them based on acceleration to get a nice jet effect. Using the same technique, I made some bullets you just left click to shoot, then I added in some asteroids that slowly rotate in a random direction and have collision, and made some simple particle effects of unlit spheres for explosions for when the bullets or the player collides with an asteroid. I made the player rotate on the z-axis if they're turning and made so you can hold right click to disable acceleratings, which allows you to strafe. I added in a cargo ship that patrols around that you can destroy, and made some jibs for ship explosions by spawning a bunch of random small models from the kit and having them move in all directions while rotating rotating randomly. Next, I made a crosshair by taking this isometric rendering from the kit and just copying it around. I also used the same technique to make an indicator to show where you are when off screen. Then I made a turret gunship that patrols and shoots at you when it has line of sight, and a boss fight that's a recolored clone of your ship that chases you and shoots at set intervals. Finally, I added in text intros and outros, music and sound effects, and the game was done. In the distant expansive of Lonely Space, a rogue starfighter searches for prey. Continue. Alright, so we can move to map with the little spaceship so the movement controls are really smooth really nice right mouse button lock velocity Ooh. <gasps> oh wow that is a cool mechanic and then I guess we shoot him oh okay so I can't fall into him all right there we go all targets destroyed continue oh this is where it gets tough Ooh. Excellent, so the shooting is nice and simple, the impact of the shots is nice and juicy, it feels satisfying to destroy an enemy. I might have made a little more effort with the, the backgrounds, of course this game was made 40 hours so it's only normal that my branches of adding, uh, adding a few stars in the background I think would have been pretty stylish, maybe a bit cooler. Alright, oh, oh no. What? Oh, they're out to get me now, okay. Tip, hold right mouse button to strafe while shooting, okay. Oh, I fell into- I killed it, but I fell into the asteroid. Oh, uh, I love the little blue uh, particle system or trail effect or whatever um, going behind the, the spaceship. It's a nice little touch. Oh boy. Yes! Excellent. Whew. There we go. Continue. Oh god, you're really making this super hard, you know? It's hard to, like the controls are a bit hard to get used to. Okay, this guy, up or right. Oh man, come on, through the, through the comets. Down, down, down. Let's go. Yes. Okay, continue. You killed my father when I was 10 years old. Now I will kill you. How dare you accept you? Oh, the music changes. Oh. The boss fight? Oh my god, this guy's actually s like... No, 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 no! I died instantly, what the hell? Oh, and I can't even hide, come on. That was my tactic before. Okay, I feel like I know he comes there. There we go, all targets destroyed. I actually killed him, okay. I don't know how I did that, I feel like I kind of scuffed it because I shot, shot in the same direction. Continue. With its pathetic prey defeated, the starfighter leaves in search of new hunting grounds. Created by Mrs. is really awesome. Thanks for watching, and thanks to Blackthorn, Prod, Zyger, and Wannabe Manisha for joining. Be sure to check out their channels linked in the description, along with the games we made. If you'd like to support me, check out my stylized 3D graphics course on Udemy, link in the description. Stop that. Stop that.